Hello, everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about... Um, actually, this video probably isn't coming out until Saturday. So the Friday the 13th reference will now fall on deaf ears. I hope you guys had a good Friday the 13th. But really, um, what we're doing here today, um, like you, yes you, um, I've been keeping myself busy watching the fucking Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial because what the fuck else is there on? Am I right? So um, this week has been painful when you've been like following it. Because, um, as you know, there hasn't been anything going on. So, <clears throat> me, um, sitting here watching people keep putting out videos about the trial. And um, all this, like, new information that's not really new information. Um, I just had some hot takes that I wish I would hear more of on YouTube when I'm watching stuff. Now, um, first off, uh, I think we could all agree that this was a very bad relationship and um, probably should not have ever escalated into marriage, let's say. And of course, playing armchair pimp, it's really fucking easy for us to say, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like, in retrospect, this was a horrible fucking idea. You know, like, um, it, it's it's tricky. And um, all of you out there, or not all of you, but a lot of you, myself included, have been in relationships that weren't great, but we thought, God damn it, when it's good, it's really good. So if we could just, you know keep on keeping on and never have no in our heart, everything should work out okay, right? But it doesn't. Um, that's why uh, red flags are called red flags and not um, fuzzy little teddy bears. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, with that said, um, that is so fucking hot. That burned. That bur Oh, it's burning all the way down. Okay. That said, so on YouTube, most people who talk about this on YouTube are talking about how, um, like, fucked Amber Heard is. And, um, you know, like, 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 let's give it to Johnny Depp, you know, like, woo, come on, Johnny, you can do it. Um, and here's the unpopular thing I'm going to say. And um, I don't think it's said enough, but from what I've heard and the evidence that I have seen and um, my obvious background in law, um, it looks like Amber's totally fucking lying. She's full of shit. Um, her stories keep changing. There's way too many things happening that are making her look worse and worse and worse. But Johnny has not been a saint by any means in this whole fucking thing. Um, it's very, very, very troubling. And, um, like, I'm pulling for Johnny, but I don't think he's fucking like an innocent bystander here. Um, it's kind of like one of those things where, um, and I guess this could get tricky with how I word it. So maybe I'll just move on to my next point, but um, yeah, I'll just move on to my next point. So the next point is, is that even though I feel like Amber is the one at fault here, legally, with what they're actually suing for defamation over, I don't know if Johnny can win because um, they're basically suing over the Washington Post article, which you guys all know about already, and that the things she said about him in there um, 
led to financial distress on him and his business and the whole fucking thing. Now, yes, I believe that's what it is. But I also know that in the court of law, things don't always work out in a cut and dry fashion. So even though Amber Heard said um, that he abused her but didn't say his name, but everyone knew it was about Johnny Depp, the whole fucking thing, um, the witness Johnny had on <clears throat> talking about his um, income and his... Uh, his like Google searches and that dude who came on like those things. I don't know if those are good enough to prove that because of that Washington post article, he lost pirates and he lost other things that can't really be quantifiable. So that's a gray area right there. The second thing is, is that they're really pushing the article that w went out online before it went to the print version. And I think in the difference in the title um, is the word opinion. And I'm not sure if both things said um, sexual abuse. And to me, the sexual abuse problem is the one that is going to be tricky for Amber because as far as I know from everything I've heard so far like she didn't talk about sexual abuse really at all until the trial this time I think um, but I didn't watch the UK trial I don't really know a whole lot about that but the thing with the bottle and the cavity search like I don't know if those two things were common knowledge from day one. Now, the only reason why I say this is because domestic abuse and sexual abuse, I think in the eyes of the public are two very different things in the eyes of certain jurisdictions. They might kind of fall under the same thing. I don't know what every jurisdiction's thing about this is, but so I think if the title didn't say sexual and just said domestic abuse or something along those lines, um, I don't think um, Johnny would really have a leg to stand on at all. But since it does say sexual, um, I think that might give him a leg up, I guess, in that <clears throat> little world of crap. Um, but again, and this isn't about not believing victims when victims speak up. It's not believing bad actors when bad actors pretend to act. So um, there's just a lot of really horrendous and cringy fucking shit. And if you're on TikTok or Instagram, you've already seen probably the best bits. But so that's just that thing. Um, the other thing is, is that I know that there are people out there who support Amber Heard, okay? I have not seen any good arguments from people who support Amber Heard. So what I was kind of hoping to find um, online this week was people saying, like anyone who um, supports Amber could speak up with some like evidence of this or evidence of that or whatever. And um, I was really hoping to see some stuff like that just to make it to where me, the only viewer in the world who's watching this apparently, can look and go, oh, well, now I know why people would say this about her and say this about him because that's a really fucking good point. But there really hasn't been anything like that. So that's been really bugging me. The other thing that's kind of bugging me um, is yes, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who are really profiting off of this 
And, you know, to each his own, however you run your business, you run your business. I get it. Um, but when the, it's like when the behavior analyst, I don't know which one it was. Um, actually, I think this person was just on the news. They were saying um, that when people listen to people's um, events of what took place, they want like, they're expecting like 50% of what they say to be about the actual attack. And um, the other 50% just random other things that make the story go along. But with Amber, it's like a very, very small number. Like the actual attack parts are very, very small. Likewise, a lot of these people on YouTube who are making these videos, like 50% of the video is them just talking about, oh, Amber Heard's such a bitch. Let's, let's like fucking send this chick up the river. She's such a piece of garbage. And da -da 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 -da. and like, that's just, that's like riling people up. That's not, um, I don't know. Like, I know that there are people on YouTube who know it's popular to take a certain side. So they take the side. They get a bunch of super chats. They get the whole thing on their live streams. They have a bunch of people on who are just like fucking foaming at the mouth about how much they hate Amber Heard. And then they go and they make like a ton of like merchandise, like t-shirts for Johnny and t-shirts of Amber Heard and just like all this fucking shit. And they're just fucking making a shit ton of money off of something that's really fucking cringy to even be making money on. Okay. But people like it, and if people want to support that channel, and that's fine. That's their choice to do it. And if they want to buy that shirt because it's a con they share this belief that Johnny Depp's innocent and Amber Heard should be thrown off a fucking building, then that's fine too, I guess. I just find it a little cringy. Um, I would have liked, I guess, if um, there was just some more non-biased people talking about stuff, just commenting on what they're seeing. And the thing that's really kind of annoying me, I guess a little bit about this, is that I've seen some people on these, like, I haven't been watching live streams, but like sometimes I'll like skim through like a replay of a live stream on some of these channels. And they will have somebody on who's trying to be as, even if they think Johnny's innocent, they're trying to be as fucking, like, not non-biased completely, but just trying to be fucking polite. Because at the end of the day, every single person who's in this fucking case and who's doing all this shit, all these people are fucking human, Okay. And, like, we can't just start fucking throwing motherfuckers overboard just because, you know, and because they were really naughty and they were really bad. Now I'm sounding fucking weird and I don't even like the way I'm sounding. But what I'm saying is, like, I'll see these streams and there'll be guests on it. And one of the guests is trying really hard to stay like, hey, come on, guys, you know, da 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 and then no one, like, comes down on him. But then someone will fucking say something so fucking horrendous, like, right away about, um what a see you next Tuesday Amber is and let's get that bitch and the whole fucking thing. And it's just like, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like none of us have anything to fucking do with this trial. Okay. None of us have anything to do with this. Like it doesn't affect any of us personally. So why the fuck is it? Now I do know too, that there have been some YouTubers and people online with blogs and shit who have been targeted by fans of the other side and have been like doing swatting and all sorts of other shit, doxing. And then that makes it a personal matter because now there's a personal fucking thing going on. And so that makes those people like cling on to those beliefs harder and tighter because now like, Oh, you fucked with my family. You fucked with my house. What the fuck? And then things just get fucking weird and scary. So, I don't know. It's just things are already 
completely getting out of hand by people who have no fucking stake in this whatsoever. So that's just one of those things. Um, and I guess I noticed more of this this week because I didn't have the fucking trial to watch. So um, I was just perusing the YouTubes and YouTube knows like, it's like, Hey Matt, I know you're really sad that the trial's not going on, so why don't you watch these fucking videos that are going to drive you fucking crazy about the trial? And it's like, YouTube, I thought we were friends. Why are you telling me to watch this stuff that's just going to, like, annoy me and make me all upset? So, end of the day, sorry about the table hitting. End of the day, Amber is fucking guilty as shit. Johnny's not an innocent bystander. And then the other thing, too, about that is I heard someone say if um, they can prove or if anyone on the jury thinks that Johnny Depp hit her one time, like his whole case is fucked. His whole case is fucked. And that's terrifying. But I think the whole idea about having a jury trial and having it on TV or on YouTube and the whole fucking thing is like Johnny I don't think cares really if he wins or loses this because he just wanted to win in the public eye. He wanted a jury of his peers to fucking cuz like the law gets tricky so we're like dealing with the 12 members. If the 12 members can see like just how fucked this whole thing is, it looks better for Johnny too. So um I don't know, dude. But anyway, so whether or not Johnny wins or loses the case, he's probably won um, public perception. And at the end of the day, that's probably all he needs to be able to get back to work and doing big shit again. So, um, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Um, that's basically the story of this trial and my super hot takes. So if you could be nice and everyone could be polite, Leave comments down below and we could talk about it if you want to. But if you're going to be a dick, um, your time would probably be spent better elsewhere where in the comments people like to get rowdy and be dicks and all that other shit. So until next time, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.